What's going on everyone, it's Travis Consumer, and today I've got a review for you guys of the Soul Republic Master Tracks. So let's not waste any time, let's get right into it. And alright guys, here we have the Soul Republic Master Tracks. Now these are some pretty nice looking headphones, they're a little bit on the larger side, but they are still very nice. Um, I think Soul Republic has some very interesting designs as far as their headphones go. The first thing you'll notice about these is that they can actually take off the ear cups and you can unplug the cable. So it's like a little assembly then required kind of thing here. But overall, it's still very nice. This does come with a case. Now, this case is a little pouch that you can throw it in and zip it up. It's not going to offer too much protection as far as impact or anything like that, but it will protect it from possible scratches or stuff like that. And it makes it easier to carry around so you don't have a loose cable just flopping around or anything like that. So it's not the best case in the world, but it does get the job done as far as just making it a lot easier to carry. Taking a look at the actual headphones themselves, you'll see that it has a lot of cushioning around the ear cups and as well as the headband. On older Soul Republic headphones, they didn't offer as much cushioning at the top. They just had a little strip, but this one has a dedicated portion to it, just all cushioned so it can feel really nice and soft. Now, taking a look at the ear cups themselves, you'll see that it has a smaller cutout, but it's good enough to get your ear right inside. And it's kind of like a hybrid of over ear and on ear, because even though you get your ear inside, it still feels like the ear cups are, cover are on the ears. So it's kind of a bit of both. It goes around it, but it still feels like it's on. But it's still very, very comfortable. I'm very happy with this. But like I said, it is a bit on the larger side, so that's something to keep in mind. I'm very happy with the design of these. I think they look pretty cool. Okay, although they're a bit larger, I still am a fan of the design of these headphones. I'm actually pretty impressed with Solar Public as far as the design aspect. It's hit or miss depending on who you are and your preference, but... I think that they did a pretty good job here. And what's great about these headphones is that they're extremely durable. You can see that you can twist the headband in all kinds of shapes and you can make it even a whole 180 degree line. It's really surprising, but this stuff is really, really durable. It's a really strong headband. Now, as for the ear cups, I wouldn't say they're as durable as the headband. They do move a little bit. You can actually get them to move around to fit your ears, so that's pretty good as well. Now this does come with a Y-shaped cable, so that means you'll have to plug those jacks into both sides of those ear cups. The inline remote is able to work with all Apple devices, so you got the volume controls, the play and pause, fast forward, rewind, all that good stuff. But they will only do play and pause with Android devices, the volume controls will not work. And now of course to talk about the sound quality. The sound quality on these was pretty nice as a bass head i'm a fan they advertise that this has some really deep bass and it sounds good and i actually am a fan of the sound i don't think that the an audio file would be too crazy about this in comparing them to the audio technica ath m50s i did notice that it sounds a bit more muffled in comparison but it did make up for it with the whole bass thing which i'm a fan of so that's the kind of trade-off here. I can't imagine some people saying that this isn't the clearest pair of headphones out there, but it does sound pretty good to me. When I wasn't comparing it to something like the ATH M50s, I definitely did enjoy them. But overall, I'm very happy. I think the average consumer can pick these up and feel very confident. Let's say you don't wanna do the whole Beats thing, but you still want the bass heavy headphones. I think these are a very good alternative, especially considering they're only 199. So that's not bad at all. So overall, it was a good go for me. If you're someone who likes bass, deep bass, then this is gonna be a good fit for you. If you're not someone who's crazy about bass, I, I would say you're able, you should probably look into like the M50s, if anything, if you care for that. But overall, guys, I did like it. Time for me to show you what it looks like on. And here you have it. This is what it looks like on. They're a little bit on the larger side, as I mentioned before. And if you take a look around, and see this is what it looks like but you'll really notice it when i put it on and you can see i got a little princess leia thing going here the pretty big air cups so turn to the side of course show you guys all kinds of angles and this is what it looks like like i said pretty big but i do think it's kind of stylish i kind of like it um but that's about it guys um, overall, I do like these headphones. I would recommend them to the average consumer 
who wants bass heavy headphones, not someone who's looking for more so clarity or anything like that. And guys, if you're interested in picking up the master tracks, be sure to check them out at orbheadphones.com and use the Your Average Consumer coupon code and save $20 off your order. And let's say you wanna purchase something else that you see browsing their site, if it's $100 or more, still use the Your Average Consumer coupon code and you'll still save 20 bucks. So there's a lot of good savings over there with my name. And, and check them out. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Till then, it's Your Average Consumer. See you.